Good morning, happy Sunday. Just after eight o'clock, I've dropped Andrew off at work, taken Charlie out for a walk, and now I've got my breakfast. So as you may know, if you watched my vlog yesterday, I am getting ready to go and do the Christmas shop when, the, when Morrison's opens. So I need something hearty and preparing me for the onslaught. So I've got two boiled eggs. Uh, soft. I've done them in the egg poacher. Then I've got two Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages, half a sin each. So there's one sin there <coughs> to dip in my dippy eggs. Then I've got an apple, some salt of course, you always need salt with boiled eggs and a coffee made with skimmed milk. Happy Sunday. Right, it's 10 to 10. Morrison's will be opening at 10 o'clock, so I am going to put my coat on, get out into town and um, face the big Christmas shop. I'm probably not going to record any footage while I'm out because I want to concentrate on getting everything that we need, but I'll definitely do a vlog to show you, a clip to show you what I've bought, bearing in mind that not everything is going to be Slimming World friendly and... I'm going to be having two or three days off plan, um, although I will keep food optimising at the, f at the front of my mind. But yeah, I'm going to go and face it and then I'm going to come back, show you what I've bought, maybe try and squeeze in a shower before lunchtime. And I think by the time all that's done, it'll be time to fetch Andrew. So shall we see if he's done a wee wee? Has he done a wee wee? I doubt it. Let's see. There he is, look, waiting to come in. Where's the jelly? So I shall catch you later. Well, even though it's five past 10 or 10 past nearly, the supermarket car park is full and I've had to park in the overflow. So it looks like it's gonna be fun, but I do think a lot of people use this car park and then go into town as well as go into Morrison's but there you go but at least the car parking in the overflow is free on a Sunday so wish me luck this could be fun hello I am back it is 20 past 12 so Morrison's didn't have any pork mince so I had to go to Aldi and still wasn't successful uh, pork mince that I need for my Slimming World sausage rolls. Do you mind? Get your nose out of there. So, this is my Morrison's and Aldi food shop. I spent £95 in Morrison's and £10 in Aldi. It isn't necessarily Slimming World friendly. Um, and I'm not going to be giving sin values and things, but I just thought you'd like to see what I've bought and maybe see This might help you to see How I'm going to try and food optimize some things and have treats elsewhere Bear in mind that I did buy all my vegetables yesterday at the farm shop um, And this is everything else apart from gelatine which hopefully I've already got somewhere in the cupboard um, I've got some ingredients to make a Slimming World cheesecake and the, the sausage rolls and all snacks and things to make our Christmas dinner. Yum yum. So I'm just going to do it bag by bag in no particular order and I'm going to be fighting with a little puppy as well. Well he's not that little anymore is he? He's 20 months. It's not for you. There's nothing for you at all, except maybe scraps. Anyway, let's get going. Look, looking to see if there's anything for him. Does it smell nice? Anyway, this is most of the um, cold stuff, the fridge stuff. So here we've got, I went for an extra large British chicken, 2.2 kilo serves five to six so i'm hoping there'll be enough for christmas day and a couple of rounds of sandwiches and i'm sure 
there might be some for the for someone down there. That's our chicken. That's for Christmas Day. Quark for the cheesecake. Two banana and custard muller lights. Therefore, like pouring over mince pies. Save save a few little sins on custard. I treated myself to some cat door vanilla ice cream. That's also for puddings. And Christmas pudding flavour yoghurt. Don't ask me how many sins that is. Uh, made with plump sultanas, warming spices and British cream. I just saw it on the online order and really, really fancied it, so I found it in store. Then two pots of Greek style yoghurt. That's for the fat-free Greek style yoghurt. That's for the cheesecake. Single cream. Andrew's brought himself a roulade so that's to go with his roulade and two pots of double cream andrew's making two or three of his um chocolate yule logs so that's for that i've got some mediterranean style vegetables there's no oil in that so i can cook those and that's to go with my curry later on um party dip multi-pack that's mainly for me for Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Uh, a pack of Yorkshire ham, that's for sandwiches, or if Andrew doesn't fancy it, it'll go in the freezer and I'll use it uh, later on down the line in couscous, pasta sauces, things like that. A little pot of creamy coleslaw, again, we tend to have a buffet type meal on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, so I decided to treat myself to some creamy coleslaw. I've got Andrew a Bonoffi tart for today. Again, for buffets is this 18 mini Indian snack selection. British pork and cranberry stuffing. Now, I do usually be good and get the Linda McCartney rosemary red onion sausages, but I haven't been able to get hold of them at all, so I've treated myself to that. Two packets of bacon, unsmoked and smoked, for probably mainly for breakfast. Uh, Flora light, that's for the cheesecake base, pork sausage rolls for Andrew and a lean unsmoked gammon joint. We're probably going to do that in the slow cooker and have that or some of it on Boxing Day with chips. Yum. A few dry ingredients now. I've got some 72% cocoa dark chocolate. Uh, some of that is to melt to decorate the Slimming World cheesecake I'm going to make. Two tubs of Pringles, they're on offer so I got them for Andrew. Salt and vinegar and ready salted. Six white bread cakes for our buffet. We, we're going to have a buffet on Boxing Day and New Year's Day so they'll probably go in the freezer. A Madeira Mega Loaf, just fancied a bit of cake. Morrison's All Butter Deep Filled Mince Pies, they are for me. Andrew likes his iced mince pies. Bourbon Creams, they're for the base of the chocolate cheesecake. Twix Fingers for Andrew's Pack Up. These Schwartz Gravies are, I think it's four for two pound, I think. So I've got two roast beef gravy and two roast turkey gravy. Oh, I should have got chicken, never mind, they'll, they'll be all right. Um, we're going to have get a beef joint for New Year. Haven't got it yet, but hopefully I'll be able to get it between Christmas and New Year. Noticed I was low on lemon juice, so picked up a bottle of lemon juice. Picked up these for snacking on. Uh, they are lower sin. Sunbite, grain waves, lightly sea salted. 120 calories, so they're six sins. Um... Cars Melt Cheese Crackers, they are 21 calories, so one sin each. Breadsticks and Twist Selection, they'll be higher. Yeah, 41 calories, so they're roughly two sins each, the cheese straws. So they're all for dipping in my dip selection. Some cotton wool buds and some tampons, we all need those. And let's see what's in the next bag. On to the last couple of bags. I've got a big bottle of no added sugar Vimto. You know, it's my favourite. And the bigger bottles are on offer, I think, for £2. 
what's that? Oh, it's a two a litre. I think they're two pounds. Two bottles of Schler Rosé for Andrew. He loves that. He, he doesn't drink much, so he likes his non-alcoholic Schler. I think that's on offer as well, so I'm not sure how much. Uh, pickled onions for our New Year's Day beef roast. And then seven bars of Lindt Lindor milk chocolate. This is to make Andrew's chocolate Yule logs. There is a vlog, uh, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, uh, showing you how to make the very non-slimming world friendly uh, chocolate log. You can tell if it's got this milk chocolate in it and double cream, it's not really ideal for Slimming World. But again, it's not for us, it's for people at work. Some cranberry sauce, that's a Christmas essential. But Andrew actually likes applesauce on his chicken. So cranberry sauce for me, applesauce for Andrew. Lemon curd, because I'm going to be making phyllo lemon curd tarts. Uh, some Nutella, that's a bit of a naughty treat. Uh, diet lemonade, that might uh, have a vodka in it eventually. Two lemons, that's for the cheesecake I think. Or for the, for, and for my uh, vodka and tonic and for the lemon curd tarts. Uh, Madagascan vanilla and Valencian orange extract. Nivea lip balm, more red potatoes, cox apples for the sausage rolls and again I got some phyllo pastry sheets to make the half sin sausage rolls and the lemon curd tarts and some toothpaste. Then I went to Aldi, I picked, up, I picked myself up some Christmas roses, some white ones and some multicoloured ones. So I put those in water. I've not seen these for a while, so I thought I'd grab these. Pea snacks, sea salt and vinegar. I think they're four sins a pack. <coughs> I know this is naughty. Christmas tree crumpets, that's going to be my Christmas breakfast. And maybe Boxing Day as well. Um, as I said, I couldn't get hold of pork mince, either in Morrison's or Aldi. So I've had to go for 5% fat beef mince. It might give the, give the sausage rolls a bit of a different flavour. And then I've got these for lunch today. I haven't checked the sins yet. Uh, I'll let you know later. It's the Deli Ready to Eat Mediterranean Style Falafels. I'm hoping they're lowish sins, but I'll let you know. <coughs> and I think that's all my shopping. So I'm going to prep. Put all these bits away and prep some lunch. Well, here's lunch. It's now 20 past one. My dad's phoned as well. Uh, but that does mean that we can relax later on. Uh, and he's not going to phone and interrupt our meal. But it was lovely to speak to him. And he's getting up to all sorts. Going on holiday to Stourport and gadding about here, there and everywhere. Three Christmas dinners and all sorts. Anyway... This is my lunch. It's a big one with all the things in the house, um, all the treats that I've bought. I need to try and stay on track today uh, and tomorrow. So I'm going to have a nice filling lunch. So I've got a salad bowl, green leaves, tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, peppers and beetroot. And then I've got three of the Mediterranean style falafels, chunky chickpeas, onion, potato and spices. And these are one sin each. Now there is another brand and I'm not sure how many sins they are, but these ones are one sin each. And did I say tomatoes as well? And then I've got some of this ready to eat barbecue chicken slices. Ignore the date, it's been in the freezer. So I've got a bit of that torn up. And then I've got, this is the cheese that I bought. This I didn't realise yesterday, it's from the Snowdonia Cheese Company. So that's a nice way to end the year, when I the year that I climbed Snowdon. Naturally smoked mature cheddar. This is what it looks like inside the yellow skin. And I've got 30 grams of that broken up. Now I don't know if it's a... Official Healthy Extra A, but I've got a measured amount and that is enough for me. 
<coughs> excuse me and then i'm going to put some more of this skinny sauce company original mayo which is free on the plan a clementine and a pear and a diet cola and in here i've got my christmas flowers and my telly ready to find something to watch i've got about half an hour before i've got to go and collect andrew 20 past two and i'm back home from collecting andrew i have just got my butternut squash ready for roasting so i've split it in half seasoned it and sprayed it with fry light i'm um, just preheating my oven ready to cook it for an hour while i'm out with charlie so i'm just waiting for that to come to temperature and then i'm going to go out with charlie for half an hour andrew's just informed me that he's going to make one of his um chocolate yule logs this afternoon so i might see how much footage i can capture but i do have to take charlie out and i do have to go for a shower so the answer is probably not much but i can maybe at least show you something feel like i've not sat down at all today oh there it is coming to temperature so i'll go and put that on disappear off out with charlie and catch you later good afternoon mr Fawcett. hello have you had a good day at work yeah not bad I see that I'm back from walking Charlie and I've walked into a hive of industry. So what are you making? Chocolate Yule Log. Chocolate Yule Log, which I've said I've got the ingredients for. So you've got your eggs and lots of chocolate. And who's this for? Somebody? Uh, yeah, it's one of the um, senior carers. So, so everybody said that they wish they worked with you so they could eat cake and chocolate mm. yule log. Yeah. Right, well I'm going to go in the shower but to make sure we've got something to look at when I come back down. Oh, okay. Butternut squash still baking away. Um, by the time we get down, hopefully Andrew will be on the next stage or out of the kitchen and I can make my late evening meal. Hello it's almost four o'clock and i have been in the shower feeling a lot fresher now <coughs> so just a few little words i know some of you are trying to stay on plan until the last minute or even are wanting to try and food optimize all the way through christmas and i really wish you the best of luck with that and you know planning is key and on that note I listened to the Slimming World podcast this morning. Uh, it's episode 54 and it's called Plan, Plan, Plan and Plan Again. And that is a really good listen um, about Christmas and how to plan and how to get a bit of motivation to, to um, either stay on plan or just allow a few little treats or however you're planning to survive the festive season but that is a really really good podcast i'll try and figure out a, a way to link it but you can listen to it on most um podcast apps let me turn the brightness down i should always do this before i'm going to show you that's the um icon look the podcast is actually called slimming world food for thought and as I say, it's episode 54, plan, plan, plan and plan again. I also, in my video yesterday at the end, I linked one of my previous videos, which was something like 20 Christmas survival, uh, Christmas survival tips. Uh, Slimming World Vlogmas Day 20 Christmas survival tips. And that's from a couple of years ago. So maybe give that a watch if, you, if you're feeling like you need a bit of mojo a bit of motivation a bit a few ideas of what to make and things like that um another thing i wanted to say is thank you to all the vloggers who've been doing vlogmas uh, because i've been watching you you've been really helping me pass the time keeping me entertained giving me a laugh and just just taking our mind off um wanting to eat everything so yeah, thank you to the vloggers. I've really enjoyed watching all your videos. Um, and it's been fun making my own videos as well. Even though 
you know, I don't get up to much exciting. I need a drink. So all fresh and clean now, shall we go and see what Andrew's up to? That's something I could have gone to look at today. I could have gone into uh, Home Bargains to see if they had any card ribbons. But, never mind. What I've Look what I've come down to. Are you king of the castle? So Charlie is sat or laid in the single chair on the cushion, his dog blanket and my fairy blanket. And he's laid on top of all three, like the king of the castle. Aren't you? What are you doing? And he's got the darts on. Are you watching the darts? All you need is a pipe and slippers. So, Mr Fawcett, have you got something to show us? There's my butternut squash look. Have I got something to show you? Yes. Uh, yeah. That is the sponge part of the roll. Or the Yule log. So what's in that? Um, flour, eggs. Um, cocoa. Cocoa, yeah. Um, and that's it really. Yum yum. It smells sugar. Smells delicious. Yeah, it smells chocolatey. Yum. So I'm just cooking my Slimming World meal in the oven and we've got the progress with the Yule log. So the sponge is being curled into a roll and separated by um, kitchen, uh, kitchen paper or baking paper. And then over here, we've got the filling. So we've got the double cream that I bought at Morrison's and there's the lint chocolate. So what do you do with this? Is this to go inside? Yes, yeah, to make well, it's to go inside and outside. It's a, it's like a, it'll be a, like a type of ganache. So yeah, you melt the chocolate into the double cream. Oh dear, it's a tough life. It's a good job this is going out of the house as well. Why? Because I could I could just sit and eat that bowl of chocolate. What? It's disgusting. Do you never lick your fingers? No. No. You just never. Put, just all you got to do is, if you if you're gonna struggle with something like this, just just pretend. Well, no, there's actual maggots in here. Paul McKenna, you remember Paul McKenna saying that? Yeah. Does it work? Probably not with you, no. <laughs> Andrew's still in the kitchen working away on his chocolate Yule log. Uh, but I'm having my evening meal, so I've got the, well, this is half the portion. It's the Slimming World Free Food Chicken Sag from Iceland. A mildly spiced North Indian style curry with tender chicken, mushrooms and spinach in an aromatic sauce. So that is all free. I've got half of the roast vegetables I got earlier today. Peppers, courgette, onion and tomatoes. And half a pack of the Iceland frozen rice, a pear and a lemonade. So that is all free and speed. So here's the chocolate ganache being spread out onto the sponge. Then we've got the chop some chopped up lint bars. Been put in the middle. Then we had another layer of ganache on top of the chocolate bits. And we roll. 
stay now. It stays now. Good. Look at that. Right. We'll come back and see what the next step is. And here we go. Here's Andrew's Yule log. Do you want to explain what it is? Um, it's a basic Swiss roll. Yeah. Sponge. Um, obviously chocolate. And then um, it's basically filled with with chocolate ganache and chocolate pieces, and then covered in the chocolate ganache. And icing sugar. And icing sugar for snow. So there you go, that is Andrew's Yule Lock. Where did you originally get the idea from? Whose recipe was uh, it? I don't know, it was, yeah, actually, I just I just like the look of it. Um, I got it online yeah. a few weeks, well, probably seven or eight years ago. Right. I've not, not made it for probably about three years, have we? There is, there is a full recipe video and I'll link that at the end. But yeah, I'm going to deliver this to Andrew's work for him tomorrow. So I'm going to be truthful and say that Andrew has just offered me a slice of the um, Yule, log. Yule log. This was trimmed off before he put the outside on. So it's slightly less sinful but still full of sins. So yeah, I'm eating it. I can't resist. Right, after that slight mishap with an end piece of Andrew's chocolate Yule log, which we don't know how many sins it was, I'm going to have a slightly lighter supper than I might have had. So I haven't had a bee choice today. So I'm just gonna have one high fi bar fruit and nut one so that's three sins or half a health extra bee choice a persimmon or sharon fruit and then i'm going to have some of this organic bombay mix from claudia baker's kitchen so there's 20 grams there and i think as far as i remember that's around four sins i can't really remember what i'd worked it out as but yeah i think it's 20 grams for four sins so obviously I don't know how many sins I've had today because I have treated myself to the end slice of Andrew's chocolate Yule log. That's about 30 sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How naughty. Yeah, that's about 30 sins. I'm not naughty at all, I'm quite good. Yeah, I'm, but if you want I'm, if you want to make that. No, because I, oh, everything that I'm making, I'm not eating. Yeah. Well, you had an end piece as well, didn't you? Yeah, but mine was a lot thinner than yours. It wasn't. Anyway, today's not ended so well. Let's see how we get on tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.